Hey, it's Alina. M I D G E B E C K Y. Midge and Becky, Becky and Midge, a white poodle, an orange rabbit. Best friends forever, they're always together. Midge and Becky. Um, dears, Becky, get up right now. Oh, my God. How dare you interrupt my beauty sleep? What do you want? It is, like, so urgent. You know your boyfriend? What's his name? What about my boyfriend? Oh, his neighbor. She's a girl, and he's, like, hanging out with her. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? I heard him talking to his friend. He said he was babysitting her dog. Oh, my God. That's the stupidest excuse I've ever heard. <sighs> We count to ten. We're gonna go there right now. Now! Got him. We can catch them in the act. Yes! Hand me that bag over there. Oh my god, you went shopping without me? So unfair! Your style is worse than my grandmother's. Your grandmother's like so hip though. What's in this bag anyway? None of your business, Midge. Just give it to me. Here. <gasps> you like dropped it everywhere! Oh my god, it's junk food? Come now. Um, these are clothes bags, duh! Such a liar, I thought you were like on a diet or something. Sorry, I couldn't resist, okay, I have a problem. I have a problem! omg I have like a theory. Midge, what? Todd is like cheating on you because you're fat. You're such a pig, Midge, I'm not fat. I'm like too perfect to be cheated on, duh! And Todd would never cheat on me. You are perfect, but what if the girl he's like cheating on you with is more perfecter? You're so dumb! Perfecter is not a word! And just to prove you wrong, we're gonna go check it now. Didn't you lose some fat before you go? Like do a couple hundred sit-ups? Just in case. Oh my god, you're like right for once. Please, my weight. One, two, three. Uh, uh. Done! MG Becky, are you okay? Help me up! Too heavy! Ugh. Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> oh my god, you're so useless! Ugh. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. You better be sorry! But let's just go anyway. I have to get there quickly before it starts to rain. Ah! Hurry up, let's get there before my hair gets ruined! <laughs> Which one's her house? It's like that one right there. What are you waiting for, let's go! Open up! <laughs> Why isn't she opening the door? I don't freaking know, I'm gonna knock again. Calm down, I'll be there in a sec. OMG, that sounds like Todd. <gasps> what? What's going on? Becky, what are you doing here? I was just gonna ask you the same question! She was totally gonna ask you that. What are you doing in another girl's house, you cheater? Hey, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Oh, just a misunderstanding. You've got it all- No, I think I got it all right! We are over! Done! Todd, come read me a bedtime story. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid girl! Shut up! <laughs> oh, come on. You made her cry. <laughs> you don't even care if I cry. <laughs> you made her cry. Isn't enough you're cheating on her? Cheating on her? With who? With Mrs. Crybaby in there. <laughs> Maybe you guys should just come inside and meet her. Yeah, let's do it because it's like raining and stuff. Come on. Never, never, never! Todd, I'm scared. Aww. You had babies with her? No, 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 this is her. Cheating on Becky with a six-year-old? This is low. Even for you. No, I'm babysitting her. Who told you I was cheating on Becky? Can you mean me about cheating on me? Oh, of course not. Mitch? Yeah? You are so dumb! Whoops, I heard wrong. I thought he was babysitting her dog and not her. <laughs> Did you happen to forget that the thing he's babysitting is a child, an infant, a little girl, a little baby? I'm like, sorry! Ah! And I'm still scared! Ah! It's okay, it's 
okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I'll take you inside. Midge? Midge? Yes? Shut up. Okay, let's just go inside and dry up. Um, G Tad, when we get married, we're never ever gonna have kids. Like, ever. Let's just go in. Hold my hand! Hold my hand! Did you finally realize how fat you are? <laughs> Look at this! What? Holy mother of carrots, what is that? Are you kidding me? It's a freaking zit, you idiot! A zit! I, the Becky Petrowski, have a zit! What? What? <laughs> you had a zit? I've never had a zit before. Why? Because I have a perfect face. <laughs> what did you say? What? Nothing, uh, maybe it's a ketchup or something, yeah! And an ugly one at that. Mitch, I will take you by your long ears and drown you in that bathtub. So God help me. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I hate water. <laughs> That's right. You better walk away. I can't believe you made us come to your house. It smells like carrots. I like the smell of carrots. And besides, I can think way better here. Before we get rid of the zit, we have to figure out how you got it. How am I supposed to know? What's that? Oh my god, you spilled soda all over the floor. My mom is going to kill me. And I'll help her if you don't shut your mouth. Oh my god, all you can eat is chocolate and food and you never stop eating. <gasps> what is it, Mitch? I know why you got the zit. What in the name of Twix? Are you kidding me? How? How? Tell me how. Ah, oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe because you're eating so much junk food and chocolate cake. You ate all my chocolate. junk food and sugar like chocolate cake you get fat and get zits but you already checked off the fat part and you managed to check off the zit as well how cool okay Midge, why'd it have to be so rude to me huh is it because i ate all your chocolate cake the other day yeah me and my mom worked hard on it uh my bad sorry uh i'll get you some carrots tomorrow <laughs> yay thanks no but i actually really did read about the junk food thing and the zit thing and you've been eating a lot so uh yeah Okay, so we figured out how I got my zit. Now, how can we take it off? Uh, I don't know. Let's search it up on my laptop. Okay, good idea. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this room is more orange than I remembered. I know, isn't it beautiful? Okay, so what should I search up? How to get rid of zits. Duh. Oh my god, there's nothing! Look at that warning on the bottom! Disclaimer, do not pop your zit. That is utter cow crap! Why can't I pop it? Hmm, how else will I get rid of it? Well, who else are we gonna ask then? I just remembered! We could go ask Todd, he's so smart! That's a great idea! Yay! about carrots are awesome. Oh, honey schmoodles, open up! Oh, hey, Becky. Hey, Mitch. Come on in. Becky, I just noticed. Uh, what's that on her face? 
She has a zit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little pimple. Um, that brings me to my question. Uh, do you know how to get rid of it? I remember the time I had a zit, and my mom told me not to pop it. Whatever you do, do not pop it. Yeah, I heard that too, but why? Well, I didn't listen to my mom, and I popped it, and guess what happened? Oh, what happened? What happened? I... Oh, Todd, dear, come help me. Uh, my mom needs me. I'll be right back, but I'll uh, make sure to not pop that zit. Bye, sweetie pumpkins. Oh my god, Mitch. What am I gonna do? My face is red. I look disastrous. Maybe Todd will break up with me even. Ah! Well, uh, Todd looks pretty fine to me, and he popped his zit. Just pop it. Finally, you said something smart. Oh my god, yes. Todd is so cute. I think popping that zit actually made him cuter. Maybe he's just playing a prick on you. Oh, boys. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> Psych. Okay, I guess I'll pop your zit. Ready? Yes! Of course I'm ready, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my god, who are you? I am the Zet Monster, and I sense that someone has popped their Zet. Now I shall curse you forever! <laughs> Literally, no one at the park. Yeah, I know. It's like really weird. The sun is really bright and out. The birds are chirping. The frogs are leaping. And everything just looks so beautiful. I don't understand. But like, whatever. More room for us. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me for? Can't you see I'm busy eating? Well, Missy, I made the mistake of letting you pack the lunches. You did not pack me enough carrots. I asked for ten, and you packed me like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Mitch, you've been acting really sassy these days, and I just can't handle it. Well, no wonder hanging out with you, Miss Sassy McSassass, don't pass the test. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good, Mitch. Like, burn. But anyways, six, ten carrots? Oh, what's the difference? Oh my god, you overreact over everything. It's not even that big of a deal. That's like a three-carat difference. No big deal. 10 and 6 carrots. Are you serious? It's not a 3 carrot difference. It's 4 carrots. 10 minus 6 is 4. Well, when did you become Einstein? <laughs> really? My bad. Sorry. But, like, I forgot. And maybe I needed room for my chocolate cake. <laughs> well, sorry. I don't know why I'm overreacting. I think it's, like, the water and all these ducks everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Ever since we got here, all I've been hearing are duck sounds. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't you know it's duck season? Ah! What's wrong with you guys? Where did you come from? You like popped out of nowhere. Yeah, why are you creeping up and all our business? Like, <laughs> I was here the whole time, and you know, I just thought I'd warn you guys about the ducks. Um, sir, we were like pretty aware because we could hear them. <laughs> Aren't you surprised why there's no one in the park? It's because of the ducks. Why would people be scared of ducks? Well, you see, the mama ducks left their baby ducks here. So now, whoever the baby ducks see, they will automatically think it's their mother. And that, my dear, is why nobody is at the park today. Um, can you do me a favor and, like, stop talking to us? <laughs> That's so rude, miss. Uh, don't mind her, but I have a question. Since you're a whale and whales live in water, aren't you supposed to be dead already? Uh, you know, that's actually a very good question. I never thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think he's dead or something. Oh my god, ew, he's starting to smell. Let's just, like, get out of here. <laughs> Becky, we can't just go and not, like, pack our stuff up. We'll get it tomorrow, Midge. But, but, fine. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's too much water. I can't be around water. I hate water. I'm out of here, Becky. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a scaredy cat. Wait after me. I'm coming to. <laughs> all over my face and my hat. <laughs> Did you just call me your mom, you dumb duck? Do I look like a duck? <laughs> mama, mama, mama. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Gosh, man, stupid little animal. I'm gonna go now. Mama, my butt. <laughs> Boy, has that picnic made me hungry. <laughs> what are you doing here, you ugly duck? I told you for the hundredth time, I'm not your mother! Mama! Little duck, I am a poodle, which is a dog, and a cute one at that. But dogs go woof, woof. You are a duck. And ducks go quack. Not woof, quack. Understand, you stupid fur <laughs> Woof, woof. Ah! Mama. So are you going to get out of here or not anytime soon? Mama. Well, I'll take that as no. But you're going to get off my bed, so... Shoot, you can sleep on the floor. <laughs> sleep on the floor, don't eat any of my food, and don't make a mess. Is that the duck? Oh my god. Oh, I'm dearest Becky. Get up right now. Are you really like waking me up for my beauty sleep? Can't you see I'm tired? Oh my god. Yeah, but like there's a duck sleeping in your room. <gasps> Did you just say the D word? <laughs> uh, yeah, he said duck, which starts with the letter D. Are you okay, Becky? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, but... Oh my god, is that a duck? Why didn't you tell me? Bruh. Get up, you stupid furball! Get up! Get up! Get up! Mama! Get away from me, furball! Midge, help me up right now! Fine! This dog really thinks I'm for me. So heavy. <laughs> oh my god, I can't hold you anymore. You know what? Get up yourself. I'm, I'm sorry. I quit. I quit. <laughs> you know I can't help myself up even though I just did. You know I eat too much. I have a problem, remember? Well, you're going to have to forget about that problem because you have to take care of yourself and your baby since you're a mommy now. Mitch, don't be stupid. I never had a baby. Like, ever. Oh my god, like, where do babies come from anyway? Um, that's a talk you need to have with your mother? Well, since you're a mother now, I can talk to you. Midge, I don't even know how your brain works. Just, shut up! <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm gonna go shopping, and like, can you like, please, get that fat duck out of my face? Uh, I'm not your duck sitter, so you want to go shopping, you have to take your child with you, okay? It's a good mother rule. Mama. No way I'm taking him with me. No way, no way. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> go follow her. Go, go. Mama. Finally.
gosh, Ducky, I hate to admit this, but you're like fun to hang out with, like better than Midge. And your sense of style is so good. Let's go inside. Mama. <gasps> oh my baloney sandwich, who did this? About time y'all showed up. Who the heck are you? And what did you do to Midge? And why did you ruin my house? <laughs> I am here to get my son back. Give him back. Your son? We found him in the park by himself. You abandoned him, you big pink blob. I was getting food for him, you good for nothing poodle. Right, son? Murmur. Murmur. <laughs> so, what you looking at her for? I'm your mother. Come here. Mama. No, come here, furball. I'm your mom. Mama. Junior, you a duck. You go quack. So get your butt over here before I give you a spanking. <laughs> no, furball. Remember, you're a doggy now. Woof, woof. <laughs> white dog friend to get my son back because I'm here for my son. You're the mommy. Well, I thought Becky was the mom. He was abandoned so I adopted him because Missy Biscuit Blob left him in the pond by himself. Listen here, I'm finna done arguing with you so I guess we're gonna have to fight for it. Oh, so it's a fight you want. This is gonna be... You better get my son back, little girl. Oh yeah, you fight <laughs> Wow. Take this. Fierce. <laughs> was a tie. So who keeps the baby? I do. <laughs> I think we should let the baby decide. Mama. Papa. <gasps> Becky, you are the father. <laughs> only on one condition. I am only related to the baby, not the mom at all. I agree. I have a husband anyway. He's not his daddy, but he's still my <laughs> You guys still have to take a family portrait though for what's what's his name? Uh, to be honest, I never really gave him a name. I just call him Junior, but I guess Furball's good. Furball! Furball it is. I need a refill and some carrots. Ooh, my bestie Becky. Hello. Hey, Mitch. Um, my parents are not home for like the next weekend, so do you want to come and sleep over? Well, you know, I'm awfully busy and all, so I'll check my schedule and I'll get back to you. Hold on one sec. <laughs> yep, it's clear. <laughs> um, well, most people wouldn't count eating carrots as part of their schedule, but okay, see you in a bit. All right, peace out, home G. <laughs> what the heck did you just say? That does not sound cool, Mitch. Like, stop it. Right now? Ew! I am cool. Don't be all peanut butter and jealous, yo. Please be quiet before I throw up! Bye! See you later! Jeez! Bye. Alright, I need to pack up so I can go! Woo! 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 Cannot forget my carrots. Oh, Lord, give me the power not to eat you up right now! I'm mm, scrumptious little thing. Mm mm. Sleeping bag, check. Pillow, check. Carrot, check. Carrot, check. Carrot, check. <laughs> Let's go down. But one more carrot. It won't hurt. <laughs> oh. This call better be important because I was doing my carrot business, you know. Hey, Midge, it's me, Willow. Oh, my carrot top. Willow, I haven't seen you in ages. Well, uh, my parents decided to move back, so here I am. So, like, what brings you here? Weren't you living in California? Well, we decided to move back, but my parents aren't here right now, and, uh, I need a place to stay. Can I stay over? Oh, cool. Well, I'm going to be staying over at a friend's house, so I'm going to give you the address and come over there so we can have a sleepover. Okay, can't wait. See you there. <laughs> Becky is going to love Willow so much.
Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours. Hello? Oh, uh, hi, it's Todd. Is this a bad time, Bucky? Oh, oh my god, it's you, Todd. No, like, um, I didn't mean to scream. I don't know what happened to my lungs. They just screamed. But yeah, what do you want, baby? Okay, I just wanted to let you know that I'm coming over to pick up my laptop that I left the other week, so yeah. Oh my god, I'd be delighted with my snicker doodle. I can't wait for you to get here. <laughs> Bye, baby. Okay, be there in five. Bye. Oh my god. I better get rid of this stuff pronto. from all this cream <laughs> better i must have gained like 50 pounds from eating all this cake i better do some exercise toddy my schmoodle doodle doodle can't see me all fat like this perfect one <laughs> two three four five <sighs> can't do this anymore <sighs> Laptop. It's right here. Here you go. Look at me, it's so silly, oh my god. Here, I'll pick it up. Oh my god, you're such a gentleman! <laughs> uh, it was nothing, you know. Well, I'd better leave, you know, I'm meeting up with some friends, so see you, Becky. Please, please! with Mitch. <laughs> Finally can go. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Bye, Toddy Hottie! Get it, you're hot! Oh, uh, wait, he left. Bye-bye, anyway! <laughs> what is Mitch riding her scooter to get here? She's taking forever! <laughs> Door's open! Come in! Hey! What in the world? Who are you and what are you doing in my house, Blondie? <laughs> um, I'm Mitch's friend and she told me to come here. For all I know, you could be a robber or something. And why are you wearing those ridiculous goggles like that? There's lots of germs in the air, and like, I want to be protected from it, so I wear these goggles. Mm. So you're saying there's germs in my house, huh? Huh? Is that what you're saying? Well, since you're a sheep, there's lots of germs in your- Tell me you did not just call me a sheep now. Come on, girlfriend. I'm a freaking poodle, you little deer! And for your information, germs are everywhere, including your wig. It's not a wig. Right, and Midge is not a rabbit. Okay. Oh my god, she's not? All these years I could have sworn she was. I was being sarcastic. Of course, Midge is a rabbit. All these years hanging out with Midge, I thought, you know, nobody could be done with a Midge. And here you are! <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Um, didn't mean that. But, like, what's your name? <laughs> uh, it's okay, I guess. But my name is Becky, queen of everything. Cool name. I'm Willow. Didn't really ask, but Kay. That must be Midge. I've seen you met Becky. Don't you guys love each other? Excuse us, Willow, but I would like to have a word with bitch. Sure, I'll go stare at a wall. <laughs> this is supposed to be our sleepover? Why did you invite someone with a wig here? Like, not that I have a problem with wigs, but still, you should have asked me first. You better be sleeping in your sleeping bag because I don't have time for blonde people. You are so racist. Isn't your mom blonde? But whatever, I'm gonna go unpack. No, she's like white, white haired. <laughs> Duh. Wasn't this a perfect sleepover, Becky? Yeah, Becky, wasn't it great? Like, I had a great time. It was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Willow, shut your mouth! You didn't do anything. You didn't eat anything. You didn't play with our games. Because you're a vegan and you couldn't eat it. So just be quiet! Yeah, well, I liked watching you guys. You are way too nice and way too dumb, so just be quiet and go to sleep. Becky, chill out, okay, dude? I don't have time for your wannabe slang terms, okay? Good night! <laughs>
blaming me and telling me that I took her carrots when clearly I don't want nothing to do with them, so why would I even touch them? Because you're a sick carrot hater, that's why! <laughs> Actually, I took the carrots. What? Why would you take them, Willow? Carrots are gross, so I just threw them away. <laughs> you threw my precious carrots in the garbage? Yep. Did everyone a favor? Oh, true. But they're my carrots and I wanted them! Oh, really? I'm so sorry. Sorry is not gonna cut it because I can't get my carrots back! You're not missing out. Carrots are gross anyway. Carrots aren't gross! They're so good! I love them! Fight! 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 <laughs> Willow, you're being way too kind and way too dumb. I understand you threw her carrots away because they stink and they're disgusting. I agree with you on that, but you made her cry and that's like not cool, so say sorry. Sure, but for what? For throwing her carrots away. <laughs> but carrots are disgusting. Here, I'll dumb it down for you. Mitch likes carrots. You threw them away makes Mitch sad. Oh, Mitch likes carrots? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I like carrots. Oh, you can just buy new ones, but I'm sorry anyways. Fine, I forgive you, I guess. Yay, problem solved. We're all friends, finally. <laughs> well, I have to go now, so bye. Aw, okay, bye. But I'm a little hungry. Can I have one of your carrots? <laughs> stalked me and begged me to come over, but your carrot cake really changed my mind. <laughs> Finally, someone appreciates my cooking. <laughs> you the best, Tom G. You have to give me the recipe. Sure, definitely. I'll bring it next time we hang out. Uh, next time? <laughs> there might be a next time. Maybe. <laughs> um, but we're besties now, right? Like, uh, peanut butter and jelly on the corner of the cob. I guess... Mitch, who the flip is this pink chick? Oh, hey, Becky. Well, this is Destiny, that super famous actress. You know her. We're like chill besties now. Hey, Becky. Actress my butt. An actress would know how to dress, first of all. Excuse me? Becky, zip it. It wasn't easy to beg her. I, I mean, ask her to come over and hang out. Uh, no offense or whatever, Destiny, but you're totally lame. I don't even know why you're famous, considering I'm a way better actress than you. And you should tone down your hideous sense of style. Who wears pink clothes on pink fur? Wow, just wow. I've never met anybody as narcissistically self-centered as you. I don't know what that means, but same here, sister. I'm out of here. Bye! <laughs> Why, why would you do that? <laughs> Didn't you see how stuck up she was? Jeez. You know what, Becky? Just shut your mouth. <laughs> Mitch, come back here. Don't you want to put on your costume? Oh, yeah. But I'm still mad at you a little, kind of. Eh, uh, you'll get over it. Let's go put on our costumes. Woo! Mitch, you can't be two things. Like, come on. A bird and a carrot? Yeah, it's creative. What are you? Um, duh, I'm the Marilyn Monroe. What the frick? What's going on? <gasps> Where's all your stuff, Mitch? What happened to all my furniture? Oh my gosh. How long have we been out putting on our costumes? 
uh, like a three hours, but dang, they moved even the big cabinet. Like, who could hold that thing? What the heck? All they left was the ugly pumpkin. Ew. Who you call an ugly, huh? Ah! You better run away calling me ugly. Okay, Mitch, calm down. Everything will be fine. I'll call Todd. He'll get the keys. We'll get out. You know, everything will be fine. Yeah, because I want a trick or treat. Wait, Todd's going to take, like, way too long, so why don't we just get out of the bathroom? What? What do you want us to get out of the toilet or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, silly. There's a window. Uh, I really want an excuse to make Todd come over, but uh, that'll do. Todd is so hot. <laughs> Oh. My. God. What's wrong? Oh my god. Oh my god, who the heck wrote that? That's so scary, I'm getting scared, Becky. I'm getting really creeped out too. Where's that window, Mitch? Oh, uh, when I said there was a window in here, I was thinking of your house. There is no window in my bathroom. <laughs> Mitch, your house is totally haunted. Let's get out of here ASAP. Coming from the bathtub? me i just had to get back at you i didn't say anything rude about you you made me pee myself girl well you just stood there while your sheep friend here talked all that smack about me sheep 
I'm a freaking poodle. Becky, apologize to Destiny this instance. Um, why the frick would I have to apologize for? Becky! Okay, fine. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just jealous of you because you're super cute and popular and famous. And I made fun of your style because somehow you managed to pull off the same color fur and the same color clothes, which is something I could never pull off. So sorry, okay? <laughs> oh, my carrots. Becky actually apologized about something? Well, fine, I'll forgive you. Just remember to take other people's feelings into consideration before speaking, okay? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Heard that a million times. I get it. Wait, I still want to go trick-or-treating. There's still some time. Let's go. How about we forget about trick-or-treating for now and go eat some of your delicious carrot cake? Midge, you made carrot cake. You didn't tell me. There's still a few pieces left, so let's go eat them. Come on. This girl's eating carrot cake tonight. Woo! <laughs> hey, guys. It's Alina. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button. You should also follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. And hey, there's a few more videos on the right, so check those out too. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.